Hello everyone, we will continue the topic field symbols and in the previous videos we replaced the work area with field symbol in loop internal table operation, in read table internal table operation. Now we will go for modify and this is what real project, yes, in real project no one is now going for work area for modify. They will simply ask you to go for field symbol because whenever we have modify, we are modifying the contents of internal table. Field symbol is drastically giving the high performance. As of now, in loop and read table, you can understand that, okay, it is saving the memory. Because uh, in, if you are using work area, one by one record is going to work area, it's a copy. But if we are using field symbol, there is no separate memory because it is directly pointing to the record of internal table. But in modify, you will understand it is drastically improving the performance if we are modifying so many records of the internal table. So firstly, we will write the syntax of modify with work area. Then we will simply replace by field symbols. Suppose. Now I will write a logic for the modify statement using work area. Suppose I am writing loop at internal table into work area. Suppose I want to modify the total amount. So how you will modify the total amount? Previously, what we are doing, we will pass the modify total amount to work area. Then we will simply go for internal table. We will modify in the internal table through modify statement. Suppose I'm writing the logic. Suppose LWA underscore data hyphen total amount. Suppose I am passing a new value 300. Now in this case, what is happening? First record will go to work area. You are changing the total amount into the work area. Now, it does not mean that it will simply change into the internal table because work area is a separate copy itself. If I want to change in the internal table, how I want to do? I need to go for modify statement. So I will write modify internal table from work area. And I will simply, simply want to go for the modification of which particular field total amount that we are always passing through transporting. If you want more information on modify internal table operation through work area, you can simply refer the ABAP programming playlist. We have a internal table operation modified. I will simply check the syntax and activate. Suppose after that, we will simply, simply write also. Now, so in this case, this is our previously what we learned through work area. Suppose I want to change the total amount to 300. So you are changing into work area work area will change into internal table and you are displaying. Suppose if I will show you in the debugging mode, this particular thing, how it will be. I will put a breakpoint. Now I will simply run. Suppose I am going for order number one to five. And it is taking it is from performance point of view, it is not acceptable now. Suppose 
this internal table has five records. So first record will go to work area and that is a separate copy itself. Now you can see we have first record in the work area. Now we are passing the amount 300 to work area. Now you can see 300 amount is in the work area but it is not reflected in the internal table because the work area is a separate copy itself. So if I want to reflect into the internal table, I want to use this modify operation. Now, have you seen? Now, when I used modify, now the amount is 300. Now, this process will continue for second record. Now, for the second record, yes, firstly, it will change into work area. Then it will reflect into internal table because work area is a separate copy itself. So this loop continue five times. Now this in this internal table for all the five records amount changed to 300 and we are displaying the amount. Now just see if we want to modify so many records if you are using work area, then what is happening? One by one, we are passing to work area. We are changing into work area. Then we are using modify to change into the internal table. Just see, it say how much performance is affecting at that point of time. If rather than work area, we, we will use field symbols how drastically it will improve the performance that part anyways we will do into the next video so what is the summary of this particular video in this video i tell told you that this in case of modify whenever you want to change the contents of internal table no one will accept your code at least if you are using work area for modify at least for loop read table anyways people will accept but for changing the contents of internal table everyone will tell you on the same day yes use field symbol because this is drastically improving the performance so after that what we did in this video i showed you without field symbol so if I want to modify the contents of internal table through work area, how you are doing? One by one, you are passing that data with whatever the field value you want to change, you are passing to work area. But passing the value to work area, it does not mean that it will reflect into internal table. Then we need to use modify to change into the internal table for that particular field value. In the next video, I will simply, simply show you through field symbol and that will drastically improve the performance. If we have very huge data, we will get the result quickly. Yes. So that part we will continue in the next video. Thank you.